Hey Care Bears, it's Haley here. Welcome back to another Raw High video on my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for daily Raw High videos. Anyways, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys because there is going to be so many new things, hopefully, allegedly, and some confirmed coming. So many things coming for Royal High for Glitter Frost season, which is coming very, very soon. And there's already some things already out now. So I really want to make a video just talking about everything that's out and what is soon to be possibly out and things confirmed coming and a good diamond farming routine to prepare for all the winter items. And the winter items are already out now too as well. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So there's a lot of things that are not confirmed yet, but some things that you should probably just get prepared for in case of coming. And those things being, one, Barbie did say that they haven't confirmed anything yet for sets this year, but that doesn't mean there isn't going to be a new set this year, so possibly we will be getting a winter set this year. It's not confirmed, but I think it would be really, really amazing if we did get a winter set. Next, it was confirmed that they are trying to completely refresh the advent calendar this year for Royal High, so a lot of free items every day in Royal High. Some of the advent calendar items being maybe possibly the stockings, which could turn into shoes, like you can see in this picture and here is actually what the stocking looks like when it's not in the shoe form and as a dorm furniture item the changing seasons tree which actually already has a price tag and it's six thousand diamonds so already if you want this tree get six thousand diamonds then we have the candy cane it says not for sale so maybe this is an advent calendar item also these say not for sale but maybe they just haven't figured out the price yet for them but it's the festive garland and the santa hat which the santa hat's already an item though then we have these gumdrops and Barbie says that you're eating and wearing these gumdrops in the update. And lastly, this beautiful fireplace, which I already know is probably going to cost like 60,000 diamonds or something pretty high like that, because usually their most detailed items cost a lot of diamonds, but that's not confirmed. That was just a random number guess. So that's just some of the things that are coming for the glitter frost season, but there's also things that are actually already out in the shop now, which I'm sure a lot of you know about. So those things being the Star Frost set, the Peppermint Princess skirt, the Christmas Queen Pageant skirt, all of these winter shoes here, including the Cookie Cutter Lover Loafers, the Cozy set, which is the hat and the gloves, and also the Winter Guardian set, and also the December Stream. There's so many winter items in Royal High, and I am actually missing a few. There's also the boa, the Fabulous Fur boa, and the fan as well, the Fluttery Frozen fan. So that's everything I can remember off the top of my head that is winter related and already in the shop. And that's not even counting the winter wings that are going to be coming out on the last day of November. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up goals for yourself for diamond farming so you are guaranteed to get everything. Obviously, we don't know how many things are coming, but to be extra prepared, I would recommend to at least have 100k ready for when the update's out so you can buy like the first few things you want. That doesn't count the like Christmas or winter items that I just showed you guys that are in the shop already. Those you can farm for whenever you'd like, but I just wanted to include them in the video just so you don't forget about those two for this winter update. I am mainly talking about things that might be coming. Um, so a good farming method to farm and get prepared for the winter update is... So the first thing you should do when you start farming is you need to do your three like daily quests on the side well actually more like four because you also need to sleep because usually your energy is back down to zero if you were playing royal high for the first time that day as you start diamond farming so you got to do all four of these things basically so what i like to do first is i like to go to the town wheel and then i go to my computer login in the apartments and i sleep in my apartment i know that's very like old school because you know uh like you do that before the new school came out but i just find it so easy because like i'm just like so used to that you know um so i am a little bit old school but anyways yes yeah, spin the wheel even if you feel like you're not going to get any accessories you're still going to get diamonds which is definitely worth your time oh my gosh i almost, i thought i got the dramatic eyelash Guys, I have been wanting the dramatic eyelashes 
for so long. It's the only item I need left for wave two. Sorry, I got a little distracted there, but I did at least get diamonds, which is fine with me. Now, after this, I like to go to my apartment, and I used to be able to go to the apartments through here. I will try to do that, but I... Oh, let's see. Is it gonna work? I'm stuck in the never-ending loading screen, so maybe you should not do that. Anyways, sorry about that. Instead, I suggest going through the area that says Divinia Park and Earth, and it would take you back to this screen. It would take you to the arrival screen. So now that you're back at the arrival screen, go press computer login. So you just get teleported straight to your apartments. So you don't even need to go through the apartments lobby, which is so much easier. All right, guys. So I am finally in my apartment, and we need to do is obviously go over this way. And let's go ahead and sign in. And we got the 100 diamonds, I believe. And now let's sleep. There we go. We are sleeping now. And we're going to get to a new level, finally. I haven't really tried farming in a while. It's been a very long time. But I do know how to diamond farm. I just never do it. All right, I finished sleeping. And now the last thing that we need to do is go to the Fountain of Dreams. This is also when we're going to start actually farming and not just doing our little like daily quest things so let's go ahead and teleport over there now so i just want to say as i am wishing on the fountain that um this farming routine takes a long time so i'm not going to be able to do it all in today's video because that would just be very long and i know you guys just want to hear the routine so i hope you understand i'm not going to be able to actually like do the full routine in this video that would take very long and i got xp so anyways the first thing you need to do after you wish at the fountain which is the last daily quest for me um is you need to do around 20 to 40 it ranges on how much you want to farm for the day keep that in mind but 20 to 40 quests like quests in your journal these types of quests right here my face cam might be blocking it a bit but all of these right here so you need to do about that many because it gets you a lot of XP and XP gets you diamonds. Before you start doing your quests, however, make sure you stock up on a lot of vending machine foods here because there might be a few quests where you need to eat. And also on top of that, you need to just fulfill your need. Right here at the top here, it says 0% and hunger. So I definitely need to eat some to get XP because eating just gives you XP in general if this is at 0%. And same with showering and same with sleeping. Make sure you are eating, sleeping, and showering all in between of doing your routine. One of the most amazing things I've learned while farming is that when you're showering, you can also eat at the same time as long as you already have the food and it's in your backpack or in your inventory hotbar here. You can eat and shower at the same time and you can also eat and sleep and I love this too because I just want to get as much XP as I can and I can do just that by eating and sleeping as well. <laughs> And I do recommend getting the multipliers. I know it is kind of expensive in Robux, but I mean, if you celebrate Christmas, it is coming around the corner, so... I don't suggest going in a private server to do quests because a lot of the quests involve needing someone else to help you like with the study sesh quest or you know doing the lost and found journal just do them all in a public server and don't skip over any quests even if they are hard like the rainy day champion do it because the harder they are actually the more xp you get so anyways speaking of rainy day champion the next thing you do after doing quests is you need to head over to the locker courtyard and go to the rainy day classroom and do about 10 rounds of musical chairs so i suggest trying your best to find a server that's really full or musical chairs or getting a full private server of friends if you have that many <laughs> i don't but if you have that many that would be awesome for you to do because you can get a lot of xp the first tip is to take off your shoes because if you have your shoes on it's harder for the like chair to let you sit in it it's really weird but take your shoes off be a little short queen it's okay no one will judge look this person's short honestly the best thing you can do is take off your entire outfit but if you want to look cute still which i like to do just take off your shoes i recommend going in first person and constantly facing and like towards the chairs and holding w because look at that i mean there's 
little bit of lag there, but I did get in it in the end. You just need to hold W the whole time. If you don't hold W and then the music or like, you know, it stops and you're able to go into the center where the chairs are, you're not going to make it because you're going to react late. Like, look at this. That was so fast because I was holding W. And also I got in it a lot easier because I had my shoes off and I was facing it. Always try to aim for the closest chair to you. And if you see someone going to it, try to aim for the second closest and so on and so forth. I'm really focused and scared. Like I probably look really scared on my face. I am though. Oh gosh, don't. Okay, don't stop here. No. <gasps> I made it. I won! Oh my gosh! And kind of like the- I think this is basically the last thing in the routine is to do about 3 to 10 rounds of Sunset Island. Again, this depends how much time you have and how much you want to farm and how much diamonds you need for everything and how much you are willing to save up for the update. But, but 3 to 10 rounds of Sunset Island is really fun and very helpful, especially with friends. And then after that, you just basically repeat. Anyways, that is my farming routine and how you can get prepared for the winter update this will probably be one of the best winter updates if everything that we hope for comes out anyways though if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for daily raw high videos and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye care bears